Hello again, this is Robert Veach here. This is my video review of the Kibofun brand. This is their 2.4 gigahertz wireless headset for live performances and recordings. This is the model KM-G102-3. Now you can see what the kit includes right in front of me right here. There's also an instruction booklet that it came with. It has your transmitter unit that's got internal batteries in there and a receiver unit that has internal batteries also has a micro USB charge port on there and a power switch and this is the output that's going to go into your various um, systems this is going to go into your laptops your mobile phone your PC your Bluetooth amplifiers or your stereo receivers or your guitar amplifiers. We're going to show a few of those things. This is the transmitter and it has its own chargeable port and power switch on there. I'm going to show how it charges and what the indicator lights mean. Now included with this kit is a headset microphone right here and it has a mating plug that will plug into the transmitter right there. We're going to show that has a lapel or lavalier microphone that will also plug in one at a time you could use those on here has a dual charging usb micro cable so that you can charge both these at the same time to save you some time has four screen filters that work on these two microphones so you have a backup and has a belt holder clip that will allow you to Clip it on right here, just like that. And then you could put this on your belt or on a shirt as you're walking around transmitting the audio. Now, if you have an interface that requires quarter inch for the sound, this plugs right into there and screws in nicely. And now you can go into your larger guitar amplifiers or whatever microphone input or line in on your devices. So that's a nice little feature right there, depending on what your application is. This cable right here is a converting cable that will convert the 4-pin 3.5 millimeter type. This is when you have microphone and headphone, like on a laptop or a netbook. Most PCs don't use that. They have separate headphone and separate mic. But if you have a laptop or a netbook or a mobile phone that has that, then you'd use one of these sides right here to plug the receiver into so that you can get audio into that device. The internal lithium ion batteries, they take about three to four hours to charge. And uh, when you're using this for with a Bluetooth amplifier and you want to plug this into the Bluetooth input, you want to make sure that your Bluetooth amplifier is at least 15 watts. And a guitar amp should be 100 watts. These are just general, general guidelines. When you're using this system, the LED will blink, the red LED will blink, letting you know that the power is getting low, that you have to charge it. So keep track of that when you're using this for a live performance. The range of this is um, 50 to 100 feet. We're going to test that. It has anti-howling or anti-feedback circuitry so that you get less feedback into your from the transmitter to the receiver, and that's nice. Some of the other specs are the signal to noise ratio is greater than 63 dB, and that's pretty good. The maximum infrasound level is 120 decibel. It works from uh, five volts DC, which is the, the USB ports on here. The output impedance of this is a typical value at 680 ohms. The frequency response of this transmitter is 20 to 20,000 hertz and the receiver combined. Sensitivity is minus 47 dBs plus or minus two decibels. So the microphones that are included, they're omnidirectional and the capsules that are in here, they are condenser microphones. The uh, transmitter continuous working time, this part right here, is six to eight hours this will last on a charge. 
and the receiver working time is 10 to 12 hours. So they're not quite matched, and that makes sense because this draws a lot more energy from the battery than this. That gives you an idea. So on an average, you can go six to eight hours after you charge that charge this. And that's a long time if you think about it, because most times you use this, you're gonna be using it, if you're giving a speech, you're gonna be using it for 30 minutes, 45 minutes maximum. So when you're charging the devices, this is the receiver, that's the transmitter, and there's a red LED right there, and that LED will turn off after it's fully charged. Now here's the included headset microphone right on my head, and you could adjust the boom perfectly wherever you need it, and it goes to the transmitter with the included clip. Very simple to use. So here's the included lapel microphone right on my shirt, holding out with the little clip, and then here's the included transmitter with the clip. Very simple to use and it picks up your voice quite nicely. So I have both the units fully charged. This is the transmitter and this is the receiver. So let's see if we can turn them both on. We're gonna see if we can get them Bluetooth enabled and locked in. I'm gonna turn the transmitter on first and then the receiver. Now I noticed that there is a blue LED on in both of them. Now let's just see if I shut this one off right here. Then you notice that the blue LED is blinking. Now let's turn this one on. And that's it. They're Bluetooth enabled now. So now whatever is going into this, it's gonna be transmitted and sent out to this as an audio signal. So the first thing we're gonna try, we're gonna try the included uh, lapel mic. Let's plug that into the transmitter just like that. And as you can see, it, it turns and it tightens, which is nice. So that way you don't have to worry about that pulling out. Now let's take the receiver, which is turned on right here and Let's just give it a try, a Nexus 6. Now I have the Bluetooth working on both the transmitter and the receiver. I'm gonna set it into my mobile phone. Now it turns out that I needed to use this little adapter because this is a combination of sound, microphone in, and output sound. Now let's start another session right here. With the Kimma Fun connected, now I have it on my lapel. Testing one, two, three. This is a test of the Kimma Fun 2.4 gigahertz transmitter receiver. This is a test of the Kimma Fun 2.4 gigahertz transmitter receiver audio device. Testing one, two, three. So you can hear that work really nicely. They recorded it for me, and I was walking away from the unit and I walked all the way towards the back of my uh, studio. So that worked really well. Now let's uh, try something else. Let's disconnect the lapel microphone, unplug that, and let's put the included headset microphone on the transmitter. Again, this plugs right in, and you could turn that there and tighten that. Okay, now I'm going to test the included he head microphone and I just put that in in place of the other microphone and you could tighten that right there so it won't come out. Now the transmitter is transmitting the included headset microphone and I'm going to put that on right now and I'll let's hit record. Testing one, two, three. Now I can walk around in the back of the studio here, keep walking, walking. Testing one, two, three, and let's see how this sounded. Again, you have to unplug it. Record. Testing one, two, three. Now I can walk around in the back of the studio here. Keep walking, walking. Testing one, two, three. Testing, testing one, two, three. So you can see that sound really clear. And because this has a full adjustment on here, 
you don't want to put it too close to your mouth. You want to put it as far away as possible, maybe about six inches, four or five or six inches, and then it won't overpower it and it sounds really clear. So this was comfortable and it worked fine. So I took that, it transmitted it, and then this was receiving it and sending it into my mobile phone. Now I want to point something out. I didn't even notice this, but when you use this little included cable on here, it has a symbol on there. It's hard to see. That symbol right there is the microphone. So that's why you want to put the receiver. That is the headphone. And there's where you could put your headphones so that we would be able to hear it while it was still plugged in. So keep that in mind so that you don't think it's not working. That goes into the mic and that's where you put your headphones. Okay, here's another example. I have a guitar amplifier and I'm gonna use the Kim Fun receiver with the included quarter inch adapter. That screws right into there. Make sure the unit is on and synced up with the transmitter. You can see the blue light went solid. And let's plug it into Here I have it hooked up to the amplifier and it's pretty loud and very clear. So there is the receiver, plug right in. Now I'm gonna walk around and test the range. So let me put my mobile phone camera on. Start recording. There's the amplifier, and I can walk. It sounds really good too. So now you can hear in the other room. Testing one, two, three. This is about 50 feet away, and still clear as a bell. Very nice. And this is all adjustable, and that there's no feedback sounds really really clear so here's another application I have a Bluetooth player and I have the camera phone going into the auxiliary inputs now these are not microphone inputs so they're not going to be as loud but you can hear it is amplifying my voice and I'm able to walk around and use this as a portable PA very nice so what's my overall impression about the Kimofun brand, a 2.4 gigahertz wireless headset for live performances and recordings? Well, this is a pretty extensive kit. You go to a Bluetooth or a guitar amplifier or your mobile phone. This is a good value for what you're getting and I demonstrate it works really well. So I'm gonna give this product a full five star rating on my channel. Please remember to hit the subscribe button and the bell icon so you learn to new video uploads. And if you like this review, please hit the like button. I hope the information I presented helps you with your buying decisions. Thank you for watching.